Right, kind of a cool loading screen. We focus on the eyes here. Right, playing a new character here. Yeah, this game has uh, multiple characters. Cool. Okay. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Hmm. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left, at the end of the corridor. Thanks. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Uh, yeah, fucking camera. Camera in. Man. I really feel the age here, man. <laughs> in terms of camera roll. Okay, so at the end of the stairs, right? So not this one, but we can still have a look. Not sure if there's any interaction. You can never, never try it uh, every door here. <laughs> it was wrong, of course. All right, this one here. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Whoops. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Be a bit careful here. Uh... Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Let's see. The photos, right? Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. What do we have here? Uh, it looks pretty good, man, to be honest. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. All right, convince, compassionate. We can try to convince her. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Hmm, maybe we try compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? Wrong. You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. By trick, I guess. I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son, is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Yeah, this didn't work out so well. Uh, 
I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. No point in pushing it. She's not going to tell me anymore. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. Yeah, it's no biggie, man. No biggie. You can leave. All right, let's see. Uh... <coughs> uh, fuck. Forgot about this. Goddamn really asthma. To see ya. <sighs> and it's not gonna get any better this freaking weather. Hmm. I think I never tried to not help her. Can we even do that? I don't think we even. I can. Man. No, no, I, I can't do this. I can't do this, man. <laughs> this I cannot do. I cannot do this. Shit, I gotta do this. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh. Oops. Ah, uh, fuck it. Again, asshole. Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Man, I couldn't leave her. But that is something I never did. Ah. Shit. Wonder what have happened. Alright, new characters introduced. Yeah, I think this game features like uh three to four characters.
But this character has a really cool one. Because of some stuff. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. Nice. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Okay. Let's see. That one here is pretty, pretty cool. Reporters. Already. Huh. You seem well informed. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Yeah, so we have this arrow system here. It is really nice. You can see uh, some stuff here with it. Like like uh, scan the, uh, the area for footprints and everything. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. This one is really cool, man. Look at all this stuff here. Unrelated to the investigation. Shit. I want something like that. I'm soaking wet. The body must be under the tarp near the lights. So I think it makes a uh, sound when there's something for haunts. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Yeah, there was a there was a sound. Pretty chilly, huh? I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Very awkward. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Nice. I think I never, never uh, drank a cat for coffee. Okay. Uh, there is something here. Harry Cameron. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. The police officers, man. Got to find Lieutenant Carter Blake. <laughs> I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Okay, got him. We got him. Ah, uh, there's something here. Yes. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Wait, there's something here. See? On the tracks. Orchid pollen. Something 
very common. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Very common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Right. Hmm. The footprints begin at the tracks. The killer came this way. This one, yeah, yeah. You can uh, easily miss that. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Blood on the tracks. But where did it come from? Ari comment. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. Right. Got to climb the shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have to always hold these buttons, man. Always hold all the buttons. Right, I think we barely made it. Come on. like the, the filter that they introduced in this airy, airy system. Pretty cool. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Object memorized. Nice. Why the hell is there blood here? Okay, we got some tracks. Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think that... <laughs> yeah, he's like a... <laughs> but I think that's, uh, that's about it. Can't do anything here, of course. The body is still here. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. But you can easily, easily miss that. Miss that. Let's try to be nice to him. And don't fuck it up. Oh, fuck it up. He's already pretty roughed up, man. Okay. Okay. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. I think I already got this here, right? Yeah. Ari comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Holy fuck, man. It's fucking plebs. Okay, let's uh, check the tent here. Hey, you there! What are you doing? She's mad. Lieutenant Blake? I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me you'd be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? 
So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Ooh, false. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Okay. Time. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Hmm. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Don't fuck it up, Tony. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Yeah, you can easily tell that this, uh, this guy is a proper asshole. Or a wannabe. We'll have more fun with him later. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, find more, maybe more clues. See the body. And I think that's about it. The body is still here. Yeah. Strange character that Blake didn't seem too pleased to see me. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. I really like that, man. I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. So yeah, the origami killer drowns his victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Orchid. Hence the pollen. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. Nice. This is important. Okay, um, we have everything here. I don't want to miss anything, but I think we have... Yeah. Think I've seen all there is to see. Okay. Let's still have a look. The trail leads to this ridge. The killer must have come down here with a body. Wasn't there a noise? I heard a noise. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. <laughs> Not yet. The trail leads to this ridge. The killer must have come down here with a body. Impressive. Seems the only traces the killer left are those he intended to leave. He knew exactly what he was doing. Right down to the tiniest detail. Oh, wait a minute. Heard something. Wait, I heard something. Uh... Uh, what's this right? 
bin jetzt unrelated. Ja. Harry, comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Nah, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. All right. Let's do that. But there's still this rich thing, right? No, it's not. No, no. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, we have seen everything here. I guess. All right, I think this. Uh also gonna be the end for me here now so I call it a day guys um, been playing for like uh, a few hours and every time you you leave a scene or whatever there's just like a loading screen and um, it, get it gets uh, to another scene here so I just uh, cut it off here anyway I think uh, I hope you have a, have a great day watching this um, as I said I play this game very often but the last time has been a minute so I don't remember anything here and of course I want to do some unconventional stuff which is maybe like interesting to